welcome back to another video and today we are going to be using the telescope to look at Jupiter. Why Jupiter? Because Jupiter was on the, uh, the 10th of June closest to the Earth. The distance was 641 million kilometers. I mean, that's a lot, but still it was re really close. And uh, because we have to get it all the way on the roof, we have to dismantle uh, the telescope because it's too heavy like this. And yeah, see you up there. Oh, gadget! <laughs> I need to place it extremely gently so I don't. Nope. <laughs> So this is the equatorial tripod, it's a really good tripod and this uh, telescope is a reflector mirror telescope and let's take a peek inside. Well, you guys are big, look at you. <laughs> There's a plane coming, we have a, a airport like 5 kilometers in that way so a lot of planes uh, fly over our house. And one is coming right now that I already showed you when he was over there. Here it is! That happens here a lot of times. It's going to land soon. I managed to fix everything up and I can exactly see Jupiter but and the uh, moon actually I can't see one moon Io Io is right in front of Jupiter so when we looked at a stamps of the Jupiter we saw that Io is right in front of Jupiter and about 11 p.m. I will go not it will I will not be anymore in front of Jupiter so we are gonna wait to 11 p.m. today in the meantime while we are waiting for EO or IO whatever you want to call it I'm going to uh, be talking a little bit about uh, Jupiter and the four moons let me tell you about who discovered the moons it was a famous Italian uh, scientist, Galileo Galilei. This is him. <laughs> and he's like showing a picture of Jupiter and the four moons to this guy. And he's like pleased. <laughs> the famous Galileo moons. First one right here. That is Io that we can't see right now. The Io moon is the most active moon and it's really dangerous there because there is a lot of volcanoes and erupting exactly at this moment because Jupiter is tearing him apart by, by stretching him really hard. The next moon is Europa. Europa is all ice and beneath the ice because the ice is thick approximately 100 kilometers and beneath that is water so real water normal water but but we're not certain but there might be a life on europa not like life like animals but like bacteria 
The next moon is Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest moon. It's almost as the size of Mars. And it has a magnet field. It's actually better than uh, Mars because uh, Mars doesn't have any more magnet field. So it, it, it can have life, but if it's closer to the sun, of course. And uh, that is why it's pretty cool. Next moon is Kaliso. Kaliso is just a usual moon. It's like it's a rocky moon. There's not uh, this we didn't discover a lot about that moon, but it's still like our moon. So that's all of the moons. Let me show you a closer look. Ayo, Ayo. That's how it looks. That's like volcanoes there. That's how it spins. It gets stretched here. As you can see, it's like stretched. As you can see, that's why there's a lot of volcanoes. This Europa, as you can see, that's the ice. And that ice is like 100 kilometers. And imagine how long is the water. That's a lot. It's really cool. Next moon is, is actually Callisto. It's a rocky moon, actually Mr. Moon, <laughs> a rocky moon, nothing special, and there it is, Ganymede, that's the moon which has the magnet field, and that's it. This is how the, the Jupiter and the Galileo moons look like right now. This is Callisto, this is Ganymede. That's Io. As you can see, it's right in front of Jupiter. And that's Europa. As you can see, this this website can animate like uh, the Jupiter and how it, it is right now. So I can like do five minutes later here. And this is how it will look. So let's see. This is when Io... When I was approximately like here, a little more, here, then we will come back and that will be 11 and 10. Io is right going to be here and that's actually the shadow of Io. This was on the 10th June. As you can see, uh, why it was really close is because it was in a straight line, the sun, earth, and then Jupiter. That was, uh, this is why it was the closest. And now, because it's not anymore 10th June, it's 29th June, n earth is maybe a little bit further uh, uh, from Jupiter. But this is how it looked. The biggest is the Earth, then Venus, and then Mars, and uh, uh, Ganymede are almost the same, but Ganymede is a little bit smaller than Titan, which is the moon on Saturn. Mercury and then Callisto are almost the same as well, because Mercury is a planet, and Io is uh, the really it's bigger than the moon, and then Europa and the moon are actually uh, almost the same. It's like Mars and Ganymede, but just moon. Europa, and then uh, uh, Triton, and then Pluto, which is the smallest planet. No, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Okay, it's now, it's now the time to check for Io. I know this may not be the best picture, but at least you can see the moons and you can see Io right next to Jupiter. So the one on the far right is Callisto. The one on the far left is Europa. But the ones who are right next to Jupiter those are Io and Ganymede. And those are all the moons. But this is the end of the video. This was a really fun video for me. And I'm not tired. I want to go to sleep. And 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe as well. And turn on those notifications. And guys, did you hear the news? When you click the like button, it turns blue. That's so cool.